I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits and continuity. The question here is, sketch the graph, then identify the values of C such that the value of the limit x approaches C for f of x exists. The function f of x is equal to x square when x is less than or equal to 2. It is 8 minus Cx when x is between 2 and 4 and it is equals to 4 when x is greater than or equal to 4. Now to sketch this function we should know the value of C but the question really is sketch the graph then identify the value of C. So it's kind of important that the first step here is to sketch the graph. Right? And the condition is that the limit exists. So the limit exists at C. That is how we have to understand the function. Now if the limit exists, the function is kind of continuous at C, right? So that is very important. To make this function continuous at C, uh, we could have the value at 2 being same, right? Or at 4 being same. What? It should be at 2, right? So it could be made continuous at 2. So that is the whole idea, right? So what we will do here is we'll start sketching the graph. We can sketch definitely these two parts since both values are clear. For x greater than or equal to 4, it is just 4. That means at 4, the value is 4. And as x increases, it is 4. So it's kind of like this. So this is the part which we have sketched from here. Now, since we don't know c, we could sketch x square for x less than or equal to 2. At 2, it will be 4, right? So 2 squared is 4. So at 2, it is going to be 4. So there's a point here. We can take a point at 0, which is right there. We know it's a parabola, which opens upwards. At minus 2 again, it will be 4. So I could sketch a parabola uh, kind of like this. Is it okay? So that becomes this part. Now what we need to do is sketch the straight line. Now how do we do that? And straight line is actually between 2 and 4, right? So it is between 2 and 4. However, this is a straight line, right? With y-intercept at 8. So this is one of the points on the straight line. If I want to make this straight line continuous at 2, the other point will be right here, right? So at least we know two points on this straight line. Do you see that? So we know this point lies on the straight line. So let's call this point as, as P and the coordinates of the point for us are 2 and 4. 2 and 4. Do you see that? So the coordinates of this point 2 and 4 are on this line. But I, what I will do here is, since we need to sketch the graph first, we know y-intercept 8, where x equals to 0 is there, and this point should lie on this, and therefore, we can actually connect these and extend, right? So we, if I connect this and extend, what do I get? This portion I have drawing in dotted lines, since the domain for this is from 2 to 4, from 2 to 4, right? So if I continue this, then what I get here is it meets at x-intercept of 4. Now this point is not included since it is less than 4. Do you see that? So we get this line here. So the graph has been sketched. Now to find the value of C, what we can do here is, since we know this point P lies on this, so the point P lies on y equals to 8 minus cx, right? Now, since this point P lies on this line, we can substitute and find the value of c. So, for x equals to 2, y is 4. So, let me write down y is 4, 8 minus c times 2. Is it okay? Now, bringing this to the left side, we get 2c equals to 8 minus 4, which is 4, and c is equals to 4 divided by 2. So C is equal to 2. Do you see that? So C equals to 2 is the value of C. Correct? And so we could redefine the function as f of x equals to x square when x is less than equal to 2. 
it will be 8 minus 2c for x being between 2 and 4 and it is equals to 4 for x greater than or equal to 4, right? So that is how we could find the value of c, redefine it. But in this case, interesting part is, first we need to sketch the graph, right? So that is how it should be done. I hope the process is clear. So the center line, which is right here, the center piece, is open on both the ends as a line segment from the point 2, 4, right? And dot it with the y-intercept and then extend it for making x-intercept at 4. So that is how you could actually do it. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.